My name is Bruce Baker and I'm from America and I've been training here for three years as a volunteer at Tiger Kingdom in Chiang Mai. I've been here for four years but actually working here three years. I come every year for about two months at a time and I'm a volunteer and I work with all the tigers here at the zoo. I work from the smallest all the way to large. I've been here, like I said, four years now and I've never seen any mistreatment of animals. And if I had a problem with them abusing the animals, I would not work here. They, um, people think they're drugged because they come here and the tigers are sleeping. But they don't really understand how tigers are. Tigers basically will sleep 18, 20 hours a day. So they're naturally sleeping. But they're up and down all day long. If you come, you can see them running around, playing. And yes, they will be sleeping too. Some will, but some will not. It just depends on what time you come the day. Also, people think they're drugged because um, they ask, oh, why can't I pet the tiger? How can you possibly pet a wild animal? Well, the reason why you can pet the wild animal, basically, is we pet them every single day from about three months. So they're used to petting. And so when you get to the big size, they're used to it. And so to them, it's just an everyday thing. So they, they look at you and they go, eh, another person petting me. So that's how you can pet the tiger. There's no reason for drug. We let them be tigers. They never declaw the tiger. They never cut the teeth out or pull the teeth out. There's no reasons. Um, sometimes we clip the nail just like you clip a dog or a cat, but we don't, uh, we don't declaw them at all. That'd be cruel. We don't use chains. We don't use drugs. We don't abuse our animals. We treat them like pets, like you do your dog and cat at home. What happens when they get older? Do, do any of the tigers get sold or to other zoos? We have a, um, another location in Ubon, Ratchatani, Thailand. And most will go there to the, uh, a bigger place, they, like a retirement home, so to speak. A little bigger area for them and everything. They're also opening a new foundation here pretty soon where they'll have more land. So once they get older, and they can go out to pasture, so to speak. But you cannot let them go back into the wild. First of all, you cannot let them in the wild because they'll end up uh, going to the the city and the community killing the cats and dogs and pigs and people and they get killed. There's not enough land left and tigers are solitary animals. They're not like the lion. The lion is a group pack hunter and so when they're a pack animal like that then they can, you can put many lions in one area. Tiger solitary. One tiger, one area. Then how come we have so many tigers in a single cage here? Uh, because of age group. We breed them all together and we separate them when they get to um, it's about three years old up when the hormones kick in, then we kind of start separating them. But this age here, there's not a problem. About two and a half years, three years, their hormones get a little higher. So at that point, we usually don't let customers touch those tigers anymore. Reason being is we want safety because the hormones get too high and they get more unpredictable. So staff can go in, no problem, they're friendly. But for safety reasons, about two and a half years to fill out point for petting. Uh, I suggest the best time to come is probably early morning, or you know, probably the best time early morning, and also maybe around four o'clock maybe. But in the afternoon, it's very hot. You can come anytime you want to, but really, morning is probably the best, just for the fact that they're um, it's cooler for you and the tigers. Season year round. It makes no difference what time of year you come. Uh, they're born year round. So, yeah. yeah, so basically we have them every few months, we have new, new ones come around. We usually breed, my understanding, uh, just one time a year or two times a year for one tiger. So we have a computer and we know the gene pool of which tigers are doing which, so we don't interbreed, no inbred tigers. So they're, they're very well kept after we have veterinarian. Uh, we also have, sometimes we have students from veterinarian schools come to, cool. uh, to visit. So, so basically they're very well kept and we treat them like family. Oh, you come visit, it's a one-time thing you'll never do in America or Europe or anywhere else in the world. So it's a great opportunity to come and pet the tigers, you'll enjoy it. It's, it's a little bit frightening at first, but 
you'll love it. You can't stop the smile all the time. A volunteer, you have to be, my understanding, under 50 years old. You have to be um, in good health, uh, love tigers, uh, love animals. Better if you have a background in a veterinarian, but not, not necessary. Um, you have to work at least one month. It's, it's a great place to volunteer. You can see the tigers, you know, firsthand. You see what I'm talking about. It's true. They don't abuse them. That's why they have the volunteers. Because sometimes people come to Thailand, they look at the tiger, they might not believe the staff. But a volunteer, there's no incentive for me to lie. They don't pay me basically, so I can say what I want to say. So if they abuse them, I tell you they abuse them, but they don't. So they're very well kept.